In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for FeNO3, 3 plus KOH. This is iron 3 nitrate plus potassium hydroxide. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. I can see that I have three nitrate ions here and only one here. So I'm going to put a 3 in front of the KOH. Now they're balanced, but I have three potassium ions. Let's put a 3 here. That gives me three hydroxides. That's fine, though, because I have three hydroxides right here and then one iron on each side. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. So if you know your solubility rules, nitrates, very soluble. AQ for aqueous. Potassium hydroxide, that's a strong base. That's going to be aqueous. It'll dissolve, dissociate into its ions. We have another nitrate here. But this iron 3 hydroxide, when I see a transition metal and a hydroxide, I'm cautious. Often they're insoluble. So let's take a look here at this solubility table, see if we can figure this out. We come down, here's iron 3, and over here is hydroxide. So we go over and over. That I right there, that means it's insoluble. So iron 3 hydroxide is insoluble in water. It won't dissolve. Because of that, these two react, we produce our solid iron 3 hydroxide, and that falls to the bottom of the test tube in a precipitation reaction. So now we have the states. We can split strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. Iron, we can't tell the charge of it just by looking at it, but the nitrate, the whole thing, is always 1 minus. We have three of them. This has to be 3 plus. So we have our iron 3 ion, and I won't write the states right now. Let's do that at the end. And then 3 of those nitrate ions. For potassium hydroxide, potassium's in group 1 on the periodic table. That's 1 plus. Hydroxide's always 1 minus. 3 potassium ions, and then 3 of those hydroxide ions. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we have a plus and a minus, so we have 3 potassium ions again, and 3 nitrate ions. For the iron 3 hydroxide, it's a solid. We don't split solids apart in net ionic equations, so that's just FeOH3. It just stays together. And that's the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So let's see. In the reactants, I can see three nitrate ions here. And in the products, get rid of those. Three potassium ions in the reactants three in the products. We'll get rid of those. And what's left, that's the net ionic equation for FeNO3, 3 plus KOH, iron 3 nitrate plus potassium hydroxide. I'll clean this up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. And this is our balanced net ionic equation. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have a 3 plus here, 3 times 1 minus, that's 3 minus. They add up to zero. We have a net charge of zero. And over here, we have a neutral compound net charge of zero. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. V with the balanced equation for iron 3 nitrate plus potassium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.